Hi, Kiki. Hi, Olori Supergirl. Thank you so much. <laughs> My people from way back. For those who don't, don't know, me and Tosin Ajibade of Olori Supergirl, we've got history. That's my sister, an integral part of the Ruby Zinc initiative and the Work Against Rape campaign, our all-time ambassador. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> hey, there you are. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hi, Dayo. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, so my personal person. There are some amazing people who just show me massive love, and Dayo is one of it. I do not take it for granted at all. <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you so much. I'll see you, man. Thank you. Kiki, thanks. Yeah. A girl has got to look beautiful. I don't know what is it about um, Nigerian music these days. Like these guys are truly going off off the radar. <laughs> How are you, everyone? Please share, share, share. Let people join us. Share with your friends. Let them join. Today's conversation is very personal to me because I love to make people happy. I'm all for humanity, and that is what Royal Oak Surprises is doing. Let me reduce the volume. Don't mind me, me and my music. <laughs> music helps the workflow. You know, when you're on your computer and you're trying to work, so good music helps. Thank you for those who joined early. I'm truly, truly grateful to you. Thank you so, so much. I do not take your time for granted. Thank you. I do not take your data. Thank you. <laughs> and let me also let you know, in case you have people who want to join, we have data for 60 people. Oh, data and airtime for 60 people. So some people are going to get data and some people are going to get airtime for joining. Because tomorrow is our anniversary. The Get Talking with Esther anniversary. And I am so pumped up. I am excited. You know, when you start a project during the pandemic, it's you know it's it's not like a win-win you're like okay let me see how it goes and here i am two years after i started during the peak of the pandemic and i'm grateful to god so tomorrow two years since i've been hosting the get talking with esther show um we started off on twitter and now we're here i am I do not take glory for this at all. I return the, the glory to God immediately. <laughs> God has brought us this far. To everyone who are my family from Twitter, I love you all. I love you massive, massive, my people. Because the dream started from Twitter. They supported me so much on that platform. They encouraged me not to give up on the vision. So where I am, two years, like play, like play, like they say. So... Yes, for those who join, you want this, you want the air time and the um, data. You got a screenshot. You know, you are, you got to provide a screenshot proof for the vendor. So it's not just you coming to say that you are here, but we want to see you to the end of the show, right? Thank you. Let me take some water for my skin. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I'm I'm grateful. Thank you. I am, and thank you so much. I mean, what can we do? If God, you know, God has put so much light in all of us, right? We've got to share it with the world. We've got to share it. We've got to share with people. The gift is not for me, right? The gift is for me to share with the world and for me to keep asking God for provision. So I'm grateful to God. <laughs> yes, I guess it will be yes soon. Thank you for those who joined early. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for your beautiful energy. No, they fail me. Enjoy on a daily. 
It's okay, let them see. Hey. Thank you. Sheba. Hey, I can't wait. I came prepared for Debbie today. She likes surprising people, yeah? So I'm putting her on the seat today. <laughs> yeah, to tell us, um, you know, hey, are they cool good? I love Nigerian music. I love my brothers so much. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I look forward to hosting Adekunle Gold one of these days as well. Now that I'm even listening to his music and I'm seeing it live, I will slide into his DM if he's available because I know he's very busy. And invite him. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, waiting for my guests to join. You know, I just joined early enough to connect with everybody to tell you that, you know, I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy and support from the gets go thank you so much thank you our guest will be live with us by 7 p.m west african time i'll see you sis See you, oh, oh, Ola Evans, my people. That's an amazing, amazing woman right there. Thank you so much. How are you, sis? How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I can't wait to have our guest today. If you would love to ask our questions, let me know. We're going to be taking questions from the audience today, at least from two or three people, before the end of the show. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. It's Friday. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me know you're doing great, sis. Thank you. And for those who are just joining for the first time the recorded version of this will be on my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel esther ijewere let people subscribe thank you so much we are almost at 1000 subscribers in 20 days i do not take glory for that no it's the it's god and the people who believe in me who want to support me by all means and just see me keep doing what I'm doing. You know, we need those, those sort of... Yeah, Royal Hawk Surprises is here. I love people who keep the time. Okay, she says, give me five minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I drink a lot of water. It's one of the secrets of my skin. People ask me. I drink water a lot. A lot. <laughs> water is my friend and i tell you people don't believe this water really does help your skin carrot smoothie also help so take this for me as um skin hack <laughs> carrot blending carrot and drinking it as a smoothie you can eat it it's fine um you know but you don't sell <laughs> Water and carrot does help. Thank you, thank you for joining. Royal Hawk surprises, hacks that we give her five minutes. Thank you for, for that, at least for letting us know. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much. We're going to be live with our guest soon. When she's back, she's hacked for five minutes. How are you doing? How was your week? <laughs> what were the highlights of your week? Thank you, Chiban. I see you. Thank you, Sue is in. Thank you, Ojema Kind. I truly appreciate your support. 
thank you for joining we should be live with our guests in a beat oh even that you're from Oshun state you're from Oshun state Oshun state south southwest nigeria oh interesting that's a beautiful ocean state is a beautiful place right that's the Adeliki um state i believe amazing thank you so I'm just waiting for my guests waiting for my guests to join in the meantime i'll play music Okay. Um I cannot have anyone join live yet. We're waiting for our guests to join. Thank you everyone. She's going to be joining us in 5 minutes according to her. So I kindly and humbly ask for your patience. <laughs> Please be patient. I cannot. For those who are requesting to join live, I'm sorry. I cannot accept it. Dami, I see you. Dami Olonibua. I believe that is your account. Thank you for joining. Royal Hulk surprises you are waiting for you. It's almost five minutes. <laughs> Are your Bambi Sir? Thank you as well for joining. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Do not take it for granted. Oh, oh thank you. Yes, I know you know Larry used to be the governor of ocean state but i'm referring and that's for even that i'm referring to the the you know incoming governor of ocean state that's the um the widow's uncle adeliki so it's fair for me to say the adeliki state because in no time he's going to be the governor of ocean state so thank you so much for letting me know how passionate you are <laughs> you know it's a beautiful state. Waiting for my guests. Waiting for Royal Hawk surprises. She has asked that we give her five minutes to get ready. Perhaps she's surprising someone at the moment. <laughs> and she needs more time. So we're going to give her time to join the conversation. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you. Trying to pin. Waiting for my guests to join. Okay. Trying to pin the topic, but I don't know.
Thank you so much for your patience waiting for my guest. She's half that I give her five minutes. So um, Waiting for Ruya Ox to join the conversation. She asked for me to give her five minutes. So it's almost 10 minutes. I would reach out to her in a bit again to know how things are on her hand. Well, thank you so much, um, everyone, for your patience and for joining. Okay. Thank you everyone. I'm waiting for Ruya Orgs to join. Um She's asked to give her five minutes, but in the meantime, I trust everyone had a beautiful, beautiful week. I trust your week was as amazing as mine and um, positive, of course. And you're able to stick everything on your to-do list this week. And of course, do you do, you do work <laughs> that puts food on the table. Thank you, everyone. I'm waiting for my guests. It's past um, 7 p.m. I'm doing okay, uh, Bimi. Um, I'm okay. Could be better. I'm doing amazingly well. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm doing very, very okay. Thank you. I hope you're doing fine too, baby. Oh, thank you, Elibabs. Okay, Ruya Ogs is here. Yes. Of surprises. Yes, Ruya Ogs, I just accepted your request. Please check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the energy you had today. So, hi. <laughs> I saw you dancing. Tomorrow is your anniversary. So yeah. congratulations in advance. Thank we actually you. had a job. I had to come down from the car. I had to run home. So I can't Aww. do that last job with it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, network. The network. Oh. Roya Hogs, your network, if you can see this, your network is a bit um I don't know. There's a glitch with the network. Can yes, you hear the network me? is hanging. I can hear you now. I couldn't hear you before. You don't want these surprises with the network. Don't do anyhow with this network today. Hmm. I couldn't hear ah. you before, but I can hear you now. Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Thank good you evening, so man. much for Thank joining. Thank you so much. I know that you are... I was just telling people before you joined, I said you are an extremely busy person. And I can imagine, you know... <laughs> what oh okay she's locked out um she's gonna be back everyone i think the network is bad so she's trying to join back thank you so much we we'll wait for our guests to join um real hogs will be joining soon okay I hope the network won't make good. I can see you now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi. It's the, the network is there. Um... Oh my God. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. The network is just is taking okay, a piece, perfect. but but I can hear you. Okay, good. I can I hear you. I'm just... so sorry for the delay. We had an info okay. to job and it was just crazy. But I, mean, I can God. imagine. How many people have you helped yeah. this week? <laughs> well, I don't know about this week, but for today it was just five people. Oh my God. Hi. I can imagine. Yeah. So, let me just everyone, this is Royal Hope Surprises. I know that a couple of people are very familiar with her. We've seen her face. Perfection. And one of the most inspiring thing about her is that she's been able to build a business from making people happy. From, you know, just giving them a bit of hope. On the, a lot of hope, I would say, because I mean, if someone comes to you and surprise you on your birthday or your anniversary, that's that's big deal, right? So that's who she is, hospitality queen, very very in tune with humanity and making people happy. And so once again, I want to say thank you so much for joining today. I'm truly truly grateful for your beautiful energy and the work that you do. So my first thank question you so to you today is: Did your childhood prepare you for what you do? in any way they did inspire you to do what you do right now i mean no because i mean as a child i always i love 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 playing being an only child of my mother i mean i just i just love playing with people so i mean if playing is by any chance but no i don't think my childhood actually prepared me for this oh okay so what inspired you to start real all surprises. Um, when I say inspiration, well, it wasn't. It's not an inspiration. Well, so seven years ago, to be precise, I was extremely depressed. Like I wanted to take my own life. I wanted to commit suicide. Okay. I was just fed up with life, and I didn't know where my life was heading to. <laughs> and then one of my friend important the thing just lifted my spirits it was just beautiful i mean mm -hmm. you it sounds very silly but trust me that cake was something that saved my life because i mean i felt loved i felt wanted i felt you know i just i felt useful and i mean that was how the inspiration started and i thought to myself i mean if this can just make me happy and fire me off i mean mm -hmm. Why can't I do it to people? And then uh -huh. I just started making people happy, I mean, for free. Uh -huh. And I, it gave me joy whenever I see people happy because, I mean, the world is tough enough. The world is so tough already. So, I mean, just this little smile makes uh -huh. me happy. So, I mean, I think that was the inspiration. That's how it was better. That's how Rhea Hawks came to life. That's beautiful. If you don't mind me asking, and because there are a lot of young people here, who might be going through that phase, you know, the pressure that you were going through at the time. Was yeah. there anything that triggered the depression at that moment? You know, or was it just that confusion of where is my life going to? I mean, for me, because I was done with school, I was done with university, and then, so I, I'll tell you about my background of school. So I went to Christland Primary School. After Christland, I went to Queen's College. After Queen's College, I went to London. Now, I came back because of some personal things and i had to start all over again when i go back to nigeria so that's when the depression was starting when i wasn't done with university and then when i came back i went to caleb university and i had to start all over again and then i finished from caleb now when i was done from school i had no job i had nothing i mean i was just sleeping and waking up i felt like my life didn't have any meaning you know so I think that was it. I just felt like, what was I alive for? I felt like there was no point living. I mean, I didn't feel useful at the point. I didn't feel like I was needed on earth, you know? So, yeah. So that's how we started, really. Thank you so much for sharing that. And how has it been since you started the journey? How has I mean, it been? It's been nice. I mean, we have our ups and downs. I tell people... We're still work in progress. I mean, we're not the best. God Almighty is the best. We're still work in progress. It's been, it's been juggling 
up and down. So I say to people, mm -hmm. whenever things are getting tough, that's when you shouldn't give up. Because I can imagine if I'd committed suicide at that time, I bet you there might not be anything like that. Because at that time, mm -hmm. there was nobody doing the surprises then. Because I went online, mm -hmm. I just wanted... When the person gave me the cake at that time, I wanted mm -hmm. to say, okay, fine, if this can make me happy, why can't I just um, do it to make people happy? But I didn't see anyone do it. I saw one person, Tilone, but she was in London, she was going, coming. So I thought maybe it was something I could learn. So instead of me just sleeping, waking up and doing nothing, I might as well, you know, what no one was doing. So imagine I'm taking my own life seven years mm. ago. I will mm. not, there will not think there will be nothing like real hug surprises. So, I mean, thank, God for, that. thank God for my pastor too. Because I remember at that time, my pastor specifically called, I go to a big church, it's Fountain of Life, Pastor Taiwo mm -hmm. Boya. So, it's not like my mm -hmm. pastor doesn't know me one on one. But I mean, he called mm -hmm. me outside and he said to me during that period that God was about to do some things. And, you know, so just thank God for my pastor too, that I didn't take my life at that time. That's good. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing that piece of information. And I think it's very vital for people to know that life happens to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Sometimes people see the success story, but they don't see the sacrifice. Absolutely. Now, you know, for anyone who is watching, you can see that there is no success without sacrifice. We Absolutely. all go through life, but, you know, we just go through it differently. Now, to the, now to the big question. How do you manage to carry people? Did you did you learn that separately? Because I I can't imagine you carry someone who like is several pounds. How do you manage to do that? I mean, I don't know. So I didn't plan on doing it. So I mean, like when Real Hawk started, I mean there was nothing like mm -hmm. saxophonist or anything. It was just a gradual person. Because I'm a very, very restless person, I love people. I love people. I love I love good people. Let me say it that way. I love positive energy. And I mean, I notice whenever I go for jobs, they're so happy and I just want to carry them up. And like, yeah, it's perfect. And I mean, I started it and like play, like play. It just became like a signature. Mm. I, I know, I know, I know God is involved with real hope. Because everything, the way everything was just a, Every, the way everything was just going was just, I mean, from the name Royal Hogs to everything that mm. happened, the people we've surprised them, dangote them, it's just been God. So that's why I always say the Holy Spirit is genuinely mm. involved. Genuinely, mm. because it's not by my power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, you know, since you started the business, have you ever had any experience that left you sort of like thinking about life? Maybe you surprised somebody and it touched a nerve in you to say, oh my God, just this beautiful cake, you know, has touched this person. Is there any experience like that since you started out? So many experience. For me, I believe Real Hogs is actually a ministry because I know there's people going through a lot and then when we get to their house, it just changes. Mm. So yes. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. And I believe and I've had any nasty experience, like somebody not feeling the surprise, like, what, what? <laughs> See, absolutely. Not what, what, but maybe when they see the camera, maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe the pretend, I don't know. But when mm -hmm. they see the camera, they, uh, uh, but I don't know when we leave because of the mm -hmm. kind of carry. But trust mm -hmm. me, behind the scene is not easy it just looks easy like oh it's the finished product we all see a lot goes down behind the scene a lot you know no, like like you like you rightly said um i see that you're very spiritual and yeah. if, if you start anything with god regardless of what it is behind the scene god is always going to be by your side so <laughs> i believe you know no matter what it is that we don't see behind the scene yeah. God is protecting you, and the Holy Spirit is involved, like you said. So, thank you for sharing that. Are there, before you started, are there women that you looked up to? You know, can you just maybe like three women in the industry, in any I sector? Like I love Oprah. I think she's fantastic. I mm -hmm. mean, Oprah is my number one. I'm, I inspire myself because I just look back and I just say, God, because I, I could have given up his training. Nigeria is tough. I mean, mm. it takes someone that is happy to make another person happy so mm -hmm. it's a, i feel like the expectations are so high 
when it mm-hmm. comes to folks. So trust me. That's why I keep on saying a lot goes on behind the scenes. So I feel like I inspire myself too, and <laughs> I I love myself. <laughs> and then opera, I I like opera. Opera is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's two. One more person. Uh, Any other woman? My mother. Ah, your network. She's very strong. Okay, I didn't get that because there was a bit of my a glitch. My mom. I said my mom. Yes, my yes, mom. absolutely, absolutely. I mean, when you said you are an only child, I was going to come back to that. She say that's a lot. And I can imagine how much, you know, you love your mom and the bond you both share, right? So how, I know, of course, our mothers were inspired. How did your mom, you know, inspire you when you started this business, knowing fully well you are an only child, that she's nurtured from a baby <laughs> till this age? So what sort of advice did she give you when you started the business? So my mom... <laughs> Allow me to say this in Yoruba. I don't know how to say it in English. Okay, someone is forward. She said, I've always been like that since I was a child. I've always mm-hmm. been rested. And you mm-hmm. know, for parents, they'll be like, ah, this child is rested. Go and sit down there. No, no. I feel you should allow children express themselves. Because, for example, mm-hmm. me being restless, I think, and I'll tell you why. For me, being restless makes me creative because I get bored of things quickly. So it makes mm-hmm. me extremely creative because I do new things. I want to, I want to, you know, I want to explore. And she didn't, she never mm-hmm. discouraged me from seeing, sit down there. She allowed me to be myself. If I go out, I would always ask questions. I mean, I'm very outspoken. Mm-hmm. I express mm-hmm. myself. She allowed me. She, mm-hmm. she, she, it's amazing. I love my mom. I can't even imagine life without my mom. Hey, God. That's beautiful. And I want to ask, you know, how were you able to structure your business, right? You know, how were you able to put proper structure in place? I'm saying this because sometimes we always start things out of our passion. We don't even have direction. We just dive into it. So at what point did you sit to say, listen, this is a proper business. I need to put structure in place so I can run it as a business. At what point did you do that? Right. So, I mean, like I said, when I started, after the depression was I started doing it for free and uh, wanted to put smiles on people's face. Fortunately for me, because of the school I went to, I was able to, you know, my friends at that time were, were like, like I said, I went to Chris Land, I went to Queen's College, they were good people. So, for example, now, at this way, Tommy and I were in the same secondary school, Queen's College. So when I started then, what I was doing was I was giving them gifts free of charge and they would post it and it was just there. I mean, and when they post it, so the advantage I had was I didn't need capital to start my business. So I did at least for like a year plus what I was doing was free. I was the driver. I was, and what I, so for example, if I wanted to give you a cake, that time I still had time by my side. Maybe the box of cake now, like the one I gave at this one to me. I I stoned everything one by one. Like I put stones on the box of the cake to make the presentation extremely beautiful. So it was for me it was mm-hmm. attention to detail. And I mean, they posted it, some people posted it, and it was it was their bet it wasn't just any random occasion. And then when mm-hmm. I noticed that when we surprised people, they always like, oh, so the name of the business then was called Ah. Uh, it wasn't called Royal Hugs. It was, it was called Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and from there, people would call me and say, oh, it's my girlfriend's birthday. Can you help me? Can you help me um, gift her? Well, surprised. There was, no, there was nothing like saxophone then. And then I was like, okay, what do you want? So maybe... Your budget was 20,000. I mean, you would have to send me the money. And then there was not, scam wasn't as much as this. I mean, you wouldn't, you see someone like this, so it told me post something and you'd be wondering, oh, this person is a scam or things like that. <laughs> scam was Instagram as what they've made it to be. And then obviously they trusted me with the money, they would give me the money and I would do what I have to do and deliver. 
And I mean, it started like that and it was great. It was like, it took me, but I, I, I feel I've relaxed, but was very spiritual. I prayed. I knew I wanted something royalty, but I didn't know what like the full name should be. I, I added my name and my mom's name together. <laughs> I did my name backwards. My date of birth was coming. I fasted. I did everything. And one day I was just walking on the road and I saw this air fresh now on someone's car. And the Holy Spirit just showed it to me. I just saw something hug. And that was it. God just said, that's it. Throw your hugs. And I mean, I knew it was going to be something big because... I don't know. God is real. For me, it's God. I can't even say it's my power and grace because I don't have sense. Forgive me for saying I just believe it's God. Because left to me, I am just there. But God just decided to just use a vessel like me. And gradually, I named it Gloria Hogg. I didn't make it a business name. I did it a limited company because I knew. I hear God. I hear God and I heard it clearly. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and then they started giving me money. So out of the money, I was the driver. I'll be the one to go mm -hmm. to the market. I'll be the one to do everything. And gradually, it started like that. I remember five years ago during Valentine when I missed when I made my first one million. I wanted to faint. I'm like, I honestly to God, I'm not lying to you. I, <laughs> of the night i knelt down on the floor and i just said thank you jesus because it was like a big like me one me it was a big deal for me like wow and that was during valentine and it was um it was around 12 a.m we dream Valentine. we don't sleep because the workload is always much and i mean from there i just thought you know what this can be a business so like i said fortunately for me i didn't capital to start because before you want to give someone something you have to pay for it so out mm. of the money you give me i would so for example when we started i think it was like ten thousand. yes that was what we used to do the surprise with then and then i'll buy all what they want then and the remaining change maybe like 2k profit or whatever that would be my profit and then it was just piling up piling up and the rest is to god be the glory so what does it take to book you? So if I want to surprise someone right now, what's the booking right. process like? Yeah. So I mean, send a DM. I'm not the only one logged in here. I have three of my staffs logged in here, me and two mm -hmm. other people. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you could call. If you're not mm -hmm. comfortable with calling, you could send a WhatsApp message. And if you're not comfortable with that, before the end of the year, our website should be actively working by God's grace. You could order on the website. Mm -hmm. so yeah okay so what what's the what's the process after we dm um so do we you know just because there are so people here who might want to do that there's a rep there's a representative there waiting for i mean to take your order either way even if it's on instagram here, where three people logged in here they'll take your order and they'll put you whatever you want depending on your budgets oh, okay so you walk and that's where i'm going to so if i have just Say fifty k now. Yes, so that's the minimum. Somebody. Yes. What then? What what do I pay you for the surprise for your so logistics? And it used to be we work with budgets. But mm -hmm. I mean, so I know I was doing that. People were not realistic, so they can say, "Oh, my budget is ten thousand. But come on, let's be realistic in in this. There's no way you want to get a service. You want a cake, you want this, you want that, you want... So it's just been difficult. So what okay. we've done is we've done packages, whereas you just pick... So you can just pick what suits your budget, and then that's it, shake it out. And that's the really? thing, we're very... We're not, so because we surprise a lot of celebrities and high-profile people, people just assume we're expensive. But the reality is we are not. We're actually affordable. You'll be, you'll be shocked. <laughs> that now well, that thing just getting expensive. Expensive. Now that you are saying is people like us too. Now I won't lie. Because if I, no, no, no. If I don't I have this audience with no, you. No, no, no. I get that thought. It's when like, they now oh I thought you guys were expensive, you know. So that should teach everybody a lesson. Never judge a book by its cover. You know, mm -hmm. just yeah. Yeah, and, and I also have to say that, you know, um I see that you reference your spirit a lot of time, you know, during this conversation. Oh, when God is involved in your business, it has to be people's business. 
I tell people all the time. Yes. Meaning the business have to it has to cut across. You're not judging people by their status or by their social background. It is business. It means I'm dealing with you as an entity, as a person, regardless of your budget. And I love that. And I'm happy you're saying this live because yeah. I remember someone was telling me, I think last month, that, oh, you wanted to surprise somebody. And I mentioned you. And it was like, Esther, I can't afford her. <laughs> like, girl, I, I can't afford her. So I said, I, why don't you I reach out I first, can't... right? I profile people with surprise, so we definitely get that a lot. Well, I think I, I, I just like don't want to be rude. I don't want to be writing the prices because I mean, so for example, if your husband or your boyfriend surprise you and I put the packet there, maybe I put forty thousand. I mean, you might not want the whole world to know, so that's why I don't want to. But at the rate it's going, I might just have to be putting packages and putting their price so people see their things that they can afford there. You know. Well. Then so to, to, to be honest with you, I'd rather the way you've been doing it. And I'm, the only reason why I asked is because I wanted people to know that you're a people's person. Yeah. Yes, the grace has lifted the business to make you a sought after brand where celebrities, you know, want you to surprise people. But however, you're still grounded. And Absolutely. it reminds me of um, something I watched. I, I don't know if you've seen it, Kanye West um, documentary, where his mom told him, that you can be on the ground and the hair at the same time. Meaning you can be relevant, popular, and still be human. Absolutely. Just be an absolute human and, you know, spread your light everywhere. So thank you for, for that. Um, do you surprise children as well? Yeah, do, you, we do. do you do school surprises for children? I was going to have to that. Yes, we do. Okay. And the schools don't give you, like, issues because I know a lot of schools would want you to sort of, like, have an understanding with them before you come into the school. How does that work? If there's anyone here? We do it during break time, most of the oh, time. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that, that's beautiful. And, you know, what do you, where do you see your business in five years? Five years from now, where do you see Royal Ox Surprises? Where do you want it to be? I mean, by God's grace all over the world, it would be beautiful to just spread that positive spirit and energy around the world i mean so yeah hopefully around right. the world not just limited to nigeria okay do you do outside lagos right now yes wow okay because we have to be... we've done it but for me i feel like it's not the same you know because i don't know and for me i'm, I'm scared because it's my brand and i don't want to put my name out there and you're not representing us well so mm -hmm. But um, because for me, it's all about the money, money, pay. No, 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 no. You have to get like um, quality service. So that's why, mm -hmm. if not everywhere, trust me, but mm -hmm. the name is more important than, than what, what they're going to deliver. I've, I've said that you, 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 you're a perfectionist just by hearing you. And that's a very good thing to bring into business. Um, yeah. However, with the odds and you know, meeting people, is it compulsory that you're there, right? I mean, if you have like 10 surprises in a day. A few, few weeks ago, I was not around and the business still goes on without me. But the thing is because I enjoy what I do. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not, it's not just for that. It gives me joy, you know. So I love to be there. I don't even have any reason to be there, to be honest, because my staff mm -hmm. are well and they're extremely professional to know what mm -hmm. to do. But I just mm -hmm. enjoy it. You know, it's like I said, it's, it's tough. It's a tough world. And I mean, if I can be the light, the Bible says I'm the light of the world. I want mm. to be that light. So I want to shine wherever I go. Mm. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, just before we wrap up, I've got just like a couple of questions. And if you don't mind, uh, some people in indicated interest that would love to join us live. So I'm just going to take two people. So if you want to join live, please send a request. And please keep the question straightforward and precise <laughs> right so my question to you is that there are, there, there are young women how they who i don't know how much um competition you have in the industry right now and that's in fairness to the business but i know there are people who are looking up to you right now who are inspired by your journey young women and young men who might want to go into this sort of business so two questions are you taking mentees, right? People you want to mentor to start your own business. 
Secondly, what advice would you give to a person who just wants to dive into the business? Perhaps they have the capital right now. They have phonies, they've got office space, they have, you know, logistics to cover, all of it. So two questions, are you available to mentor people? Two, what advice would you give to a person who just wants to go into the business? So, I mean, yes, absolutely, yes. Because um, like I always say to people, <laughs> I want to die empty. I don't want to die and then I'm, I still have things in me because I honestly believe there's nothing in this life. Everything you have is a gift from God. You might think you're a millionaire, but there are billions of people that have much, much more money than you have. So everything we have is a gift from God. And the Bible also said he gives some people gifts, some people, one person buried it, some people two gifts, some people three gifts. So I mean, I'm more than, I mean, when I started, we were not many, but if you look at it now, we're so many. And to be honest, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a relief for me because in reality, how many can I do? How many people? And I, so, I mean, that's the problem we have. We're always so greedy. We want more, 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 more. So I'm more than willing to, 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 to give what I have to the world. Mm -hmm. so anybody who that wants to start a business, absolutely. If you enjoy give, if you're not doing it because oh, Royal Hogs is driving a bend or oh, Royal Hogs is living life. Mm -mm. That should not be your first intention. I mean, yes, money is good. Money is sweet. Money is beautiful. Money is powerful. But money, it's not, should not be like the parity because money answers all things. Let's, let's be realistic. Money is mm. very, money is so good, but money okay. should not be your parity for wanting to start it. I mean, mm -hmm. People, you know, and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you want to oh, the, the network. There's a little bit of yeah. Ah, uh, the network. There was a glitch while you were trying to explain, but I think I I hear you loud and clear. That money is not everything. So you mean right now, if a young person, a young woman, you know, slides into your DM to say, "I want you to well, mentor me." Please come again. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And uh, are there people you're mentoring right now? Are there young women you're mentoring in the business right now? Either those who are interning with you or those you're just mentoring very well. So I have to do the same. Oh. Thank you, everyone. We are going to be back with Roya Hawks. I think the network played a smart one, but um, she's going to be back live for us to finish the session. Thank you. Thank you for joining and for your beautiful energy. We have data for those who join. Okay. Waiting for Ria Oz. Yes. Thank you. This this network. Anyway, we beat the network. The Holy Spirit is involved today. So no shaking. <laughs> no shaking at all. The Holy Spirit is involved. Amazing. Amazing. So, so for, for those who are just joining, um, I was asking Ria Oz if you know she's available to mentor people at this time. And uh, she says yes, she is available. And I want to let you know, in mentoring, um, don't go because of what you want to gain from people. Go because of what you really want to learn from them, right? Don't go with a selfish interest of, oh, okay, because she's doing this, let me grab idea, I'm going to start my own. Or let me see how she's running the business, and then, you know, don't, don't do that. You know, if you really want a mentor, you want a mentor because, yes, you want to start your own business, but not to run a whole business down. And I'm saying this because we hear yeah. that happen a lot of times in the industry. And that's why a lot of, you know, women who are power women are sometimes scared of bringing younger, the younger generation close. And Absolutely. I know there, is, there are amazing and fantastic women out there with really pure hearts, you know. So please slide it to a DM respectfully because she doesn't hold you that <laughs> to say. So in case you get a no, it could be that she's busy. I am not speaking for her, but I know that it, these things don't happen 
availability and accessibility are two different things, right? So um, I just want to have to real house before we wrap up um, that in your line of business, I am sure you've seen Nigeria. What I mean by that is that you've seen different people from all walks of life, right? Sometimes I, I believe you would have gone to places to, um, one of those places I remember was, um, I don't want to go into this personal details, but I've got to say it, because I posted it on my Facebook when you went to surprise the woman who was married to a celebrity I was abandoned. And then you, I saw you in that house and it touched me. It touched me because I said, if that is the only thing this woman would get this year, it is something. And that is Nigeria. That's where I'm coming from. That there are people who don't have it all and we need to make happy. What would you like to change in the economy based on your work and what you've seen in your line of business? So I want to understand the question. When you say, what would I like to change? Like to mm. make my work easier or... To make your work easier, yes. What, what part of the economy would you... I mean, if there's something you could change in the economy right now, to make your work easier, what would it be? I mean, so first things first, people should be kind, more kind. Mm -hmm. I can't determine mm -hmm. that. But one challenge we actually mm -hmm. face is traffic. <laughs> My sister, the traffic is not making... I mean, we can be in traffic for two hours and we would wake up as early as 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. we're on the road. And we're in that traffic. So it's a big challenge I'm going through. It's so bad that sometimes when we have jobs in far areas, I have to get my staff to sleep in a hotel near the location just to be there on time. Do you understand? So it's a challenge. I don't know how the government can help with that. I said God is willing to bless me with helicopter or private jets. You are getting and there. Not, and there's nothing God can do. That's the funny thing. Yes. I mean, you can use ordinary me. And make me supernatural. There's nothing. I mean, it sounds big, but when mm -hmm. God says He has arrived, He has arrived. There's nothing yes. anyone can do about it. And then yes. again, that's if it's the will of God. I don't want to force what is not the will of God for me. Mm -mm. If mm. it's the will of God, thank God. If it's not the will of God, thank God. Mm. The will of God shall Amazing. God shall not depart from me. That's the most important thing. Oh, that's you know? that's. That's a powerful one. Um, traffic, I, to, to be honest with you, that's um, a huge problem that I don't yeah. even know how it's going to be solved. But the only thing I can pray for is for God to give you ease of business. Amen. And regardless of the traffic, you are able to always beat it and do your job and do it well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if there's someone out there right now um, who is down, depressed, you know, the way you were a few years ago before you started your business, and they're on this live show right now. Somebody who's going to watch it later when I post on my page. What do you have to say to them? Something to nudge them forward before we wrap up. Um, so the truth about life is, in this life, eh, you have to be very spiritual. I used mm. to be so, because I'm a very open-minded person, but this life, they've shown me Pepe, you know. And it's my mom <laughs> that always says to me, um, because you're good doesn't mean everybody is good. She says it a lot in Yoruba, and what she says is inunikawa. I don't know. Inunikawa means wicked. It's in, you don't know, like I'm just talking, you don't know my mind. You can only speak for yourself. Or it's just like saying, oh, because you don't eat a lion, a lion won't eat you. You know, mm. so you have to be extremely spiritual. If you're a Christian, mm. You just have to have a foundation. Because the Bible says mm -hmm. we battle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, you have to, you just have to have a foundation. You can't just live your life anyhow. I mean, I used to live my life anyhow. I used to be, I'm still free spirited to an extent because I just feel like there's nothing in this life. So I don't like holding on to things so tight because I just, I know we're going to die one day and leave everything alone. So I try not to hold things too tight. I try to let go. So my advice to you, if you're going through a lot, have a foundation. Because remember, if you were here in the beginning, if I'd taken my life then, I will not be here today. So that's to tell you that when a breakthrough is about to come, that's when sometimes things get tougher. But you can't mm. allow the enemy to take charge. 
you have to be in mm -hmm. control. You can't mm -hmm. allow the devil to take charge. So, and surround yourself with positive people. Very, very important. Surround yourself mm -hmm. with people that will ginger you because, ah, and never compare yourself. We all have our race to run. Don't compare. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have things I'm battling with. I'm, I'm crying to God about, but I'm not allowing it weigh me down. I still told my mom last week, if it happens, to God be the glory. If it doesn't happen, to God be the glory. Don't just let go of God, no matter what you're going through, because God is real. God is super, yes. super real. So yes. whatever it is you're going through, don't let go of God. He's real. Don't give up. I, it won't I that would say so. that we're all looking up to has something that is bothering him that I cannot share with the world. So everybody has things that they're going through. No one is having it easy. We just choose to just give thanks regardless. I mean, think about it. The situation might have been worse. But you are here. You're here. You're still alive. So you mm -hmm. being alive means there's still, there's still something for you to do on earth. So mm -hmm. don't give up. Trust me. Absolutely. something to be achieved. Thank you, know. you so much. And I have to make a personal request. And that's for the group of women that I sort of like inspire. Um, that's single moms, right? Because, you know, being a single mother, I know that it's tough. There are parents sometimes who want to surprise their kids who are not able to do it, right? Mothers or fathers, I have to be fair, there are single dads too. But, you know, my own is single mother. So when, I, when guests come on my show, it's one of the things that I always ask to, you know, sort of like have a consensus, right? If, you know, there's a way you can, in your business, we're going to pay. <laughs> of course. But okay, if so, I mean, case... if, you, if you have heard my story from the beginning, <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm not just in my mouth, I'm genuine. God Almighty that created me says my heart. I don't do this for money. I love what I do. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a foundation. I don't mm -hmm. have anybody sponsoring me. It's the mm -hmm. profits we make that I use. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something I would love. Do if it's Thank in Lagos so and I'll do it for yes. free if it's in yes. Lagos. It's if they're not on this group and they don't hear, because if they hear it's no longer a surprise. I can no, 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 no. Them. I'm not even mentioning their name. <laughs> okay. So I can no. do one of them for free if it's in Lagos. Yes. I mean this, I feel like this is the reason why God created me. I'm not joking. Yes. Because it gives me joy. I love money, but I don't I love God more than I love money. Because yes. the money I have is a gift from God. Yes. The Bible says I will bless wherever I want to bless. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I, I, I would genuinely do it. I would do it. I mean, I'm I just asking for you. one person, just one, one of them. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's Lagos, if yes. it's Lagos, hundred percent. Thank you so much for your kindness. We truly appreciate it, and of course for your time. I cannot wait to feature you on my colon. Like I said in your inbox, big up. Yeah. <laughs> send the response you know because i i believe that your story has to be shared yeah uh, it has to be shared not just because it's going to inspire people but because we need to let people know that life is not a bed of roses Absolutely. and that when people see the success story they should try and know your season those mm -hmm. different things that you've been through in life for you to get to this average season that you are in right so I'd really love to share your story. So please respond to the questions. <laughs> yes, I will. So we can, we can share. For anyone, there are a couple of people who you know, requested, but I don't think they were serious who asked the question. So I would just say thank you so much. If you need Roya Ox surprises, please slide it to your inbox. And I have to say, she's running a structured business. So don't expect her to be inbox all the time. For chit chat, go straight to the business of what you want. You want mentoring, get straight to the business. And I'm saying this because sometimes we take advantage of accessibility. Absolutely. Right? So please do that. Support our business. Don't assume she only attends to celebrities, though. It's everybody. So she just say, I sold you. So any amount you have, let them know your budget. And she's going to be there. Oh, someone said me. Oh, I don't know what that means. Okay. Whatever that is, uh, let me know. So thank you so much, Roya, of surprises for your time today. And I really look forward to meeting you one day soon. Like and maybe to, maybe to get one of your hugs. <laughs> because that is one thing that really, every time I see you hugging, so I'm like, girl, how is she, she doing that? They, like, we don't chop, we don't carry person for Nigeria. <laughs>
<laughs> so thank you so much for your time. God bless you. you. God bless you for making this session powerful because tomorrow is our anniversary. So I was that it was strategic when I reached out to you. It was yeah. strategic because I have seen your energy and I connected your energy and I said I need to bring someone on who is going to pump up my energy a day before the anniversary. <laughs> And I have to share with you that I started this initiative during the pandemic, the thick of the pandemic. So it started in, on Twitter, right? And the whole idea was just to inspire people, let people hear other people's story. So bringing it here on Instagram, and now we're going to be two years, like, play, like, play, like people say. So it's a big deal for me to host you a day before the show, a person who knows the power of kindness, because that is very important to me. I love kind people. You just, you're a kind person. Forget it. You are my person. <laughs> so thank you very much, everyone, for joining. I appreciate you, Roya Orgs. And God bless your business. And God Amen. bless you. And I'm speaking life over your business. You said Oprah Winfrey. One day, you're going to surprise Oprah. Write it down. We are going to be here, all of us, to, to hear the story, by God's grace. Thank you, everybody. And have thank a beautiful evening. Have a good one, sis. Bye. <laughs>